tax day is coming. Oh, no. But if you sign up for Robinhood Gold's IRA with a 3% match, you can get up to $195 for the 2023 tax year. Oh, yeah. Sign up at Robinhood.com slash boost by tax day to get the biggest contribution match on the market. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. You got me. It's Kim Commando today, and I'm here with you. Just the facts and tips you need to thrive in our digital world. Or, as I like to say, to live the best digital life ever. I always like to start with something interesting. And at some point in the next year, Apple is going to shake up the VR headset world with what's supposed to be called the Apple Reality Pro. The Apple Reality Pro. They say it's going to be better than anything from Sony, HTC, or even Facebook. Well, you know, now Meta. And because these are VR headsets from Apple, they're probably going to cost $999. That'll be the price price. And then they always have the Pro model. $1,499. $1,499. And you're sitting there going, well, of course I want the pro model. Why wouldn't I want that? And this is also true about VR. Um, they have VR for cows in Europe. They're using virtual reality to enhance the cow's moods. And that actually has found that it increases milk production. So on cold, dreary days, they put the VR headset on the cows and they show them happy summer pastures, right? I guess you could say it's a mood enhancer. (laughs) Sometimes I just crack myself up. Hey, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another hour of America's most trusted source about all things digital. It's the nation's largest show, of course. It's called The Kim Commando Show, and you can find us on over 425 stations from coast to coast, and we're streaming in your favorite radio app, which is all you have to do is just fire that up and you search for my last name, Commando, or you can find us streaming as a podcast, as a webcast, 24-7. and get three months of archives, commercial-free, all kinds of great stuff. And just head over to getkim.com. And a special thank you goes out to our servicemen and women in the Army, the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, Coast Guard, and Space Force who are protecting our great nation and listening to us on the American Forces Network Radio. Yes. And our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 is the way to join us. All right. Every single day, I look at so many different websites. I think I have 32 bookmarks that I go to every single day. I read press releases. I talk to my friends, industry insiders. So this way I know about everything that's going on in the tech world. And this is part of the show where I like to focus on consumer tech to keep you up to date. Cool tech facts, uh, how you spend your money, what you should what you should get rid of right now. And so let's talk about the five things you need to know. And we're going to start with number one. What word goes together with the brand Samsung? When you say Samsung, what goes after that? Samsung TVs, right? I mean, that they're big. Samsung Galaxy, right? It's... Those are watches and phones and and tablets and all kinds of good things like that. How about Samsung and Fire? Yes, Fire. Exploding phones happened with the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 back in 2016. And again, in 2021, when a Samsung phone went on fire on an Alaska Airlines flight, and they had to put that out with an extinguisher on board. That'd be frightening. Well, now a Samsung Galaxy Watch user says his wearable burned his wrist. That's right burned his wrist while he was sleeping. There's a post on Reddit in a community that says, well, that's crappy. I'm not going to say that word on the air. Uh, Showed off the back of the watch and the person with the burnt wrist. And it's a Galaxy Watch Active that he said he used to manage his sleep. Well, kind of. I'll tell you, it looks really bad. Where the watch was on his wrist appears to be a third degree burn. And that's the one that extends down to the fat layer right under the dermis. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy watch, make sure that you have plenty of ventilation if and when you wear it to bed. Um, Maybe you might want to see if there's any type of firmware updates. I checked. I didn't see anything. But maybe by the time we're talking about it, there is. Um, But, you know, wow. Samsung. He really had a pretty good voice. Get it, Samsung? Okay, where am I? All right, number two, uh, get your personal details out of Google search results. You ever Google yourself and find all kinds of personal details about you for the entire world to see? Now Google will remove your private info from the search results. Things like bank account numbers, credit card numbers, medical records, uh, your phone number, your email address, physical address, 
and more can now be removed from Google search results. So here's what happens. You submit the request, Google reviews it, and then you'll be notified. But they're changing that, and that's why I want you to know about it. If you see a result with your phone number, home address, email, anything that I just mentioned, click the three-dot menu at the top right. That opens about this result panel. But now there's a new option at the bottom of the screen. Of course, it's at the bottom. It says remove result. Again, the three-dot remove result. Uh, that's the easy part, but just keep in mind, when you might be successful getting Google to remove your information from their search results, it's probably still available all in these people search sites, which, by the way, every single Tuesday on commando.com is opt out Tuesday. That's right. Opt out Tuesday. Every Tuesday, make a note, put a reminder to hit commando.com because every single Tuesday we tell you the exact steps. And they're not easy always to find how you can do this and remove yourself out of yet one more people search sites. And if you haven't been doing that, we have the archives uh, all for Opt Out Tuesday. Again, that's Opt Out Tuesday on commando.com. We're going to tell you how to get yourself out of yet one more people search sites. All right, number three in our list. I wouldn't depend upon this to work if you lose anything. Because there are all kinds of these GPS trackers out there, Apple AirTags, Tile Trackers. But what if you are just trying to track something relatively inexpensive and you just want to be alerted if you leave it somewhere, say a water bottle? Well, Tile has just launched lost and found QR code labels. They say it's a cheap way to get your stuff back. It doesn't really work because you don't see where it's located and it's all on the honor system. So you put these QR codes on your stuff and then hopefully an honors person finds your stuff and then they're going to hold their phone's camera up to the QR code to get your contact information. Okay. They're priced at a dollar per sticker. Now, me and my marketing mind... This is Tile's way to get you hooked into their system so not, now they can upsell you the Tile trackers. That's what I think that they're doing it. Because you could go do this yourself right now for free. If you go to codemonkey.com and you can make a QR code and you could have it printed on a label using your printer. It's no big deal. You don't have to spend a buck for it. But if you do do this, make sure that you get a Google Voice number and it's tied to your primary cell phone number or make up a new email address so they... If they find your stuff, you can get a hold of you. But speaking of lost, oh, I'll tell you, I've lost control. I don't see an end. There's no escape. I don't have a home anymore. You know what it is? Time for a new keyboard. <laughs> All right, number four, let's put the win in Windows. It's been a year since Windows 11 was released. And this past week, Microsoft rolled out a major update that has a few things that you might want to know about. For starters, uh, Microsoft has in their words, significantly reduced the size of updates. They install faster and now they're about 450 megs. As far as new stuff, you can personalize the start menu. There's a new movie maker replacement called ClipChamp. Ah, works. It's really good. It's a really, really great video editor. Oh, this is handy. Some system-wide live captions that are wonderful in video chats. The dictation tools in Windows 11 got an overhaul too. But frankly, Microsoft should have done all of that sooner. And taking a cue from Apple, Microsoft included now in Windows 11 what they're calling focused sessions. Focus sessions. It turns off the notifications, disables the taskbar badges, and lets you set time to only work like using the clock app. So if you have Windows 11, just get the update. It's not painful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay for the salad. Uh, finally, this at number five, headlines that make you think, is this really a good idea? Is this really a good idea? Here's the headline. Last pass was hacked, but it says no user data was compromised. Phew, doesn't that make you feel better? Now, if you don't know, LastPass is a password manager program. You store all your passwords in the program, and then the program fills out your passwords wherever you go. Okay. Now, a month ago, LastPass said an unauthorized party, those words, gained entry into its system. But now the LastPass CEO is saying that a hacker had internal access to a system for four days. That's a long time. That's a long time to not know that somebody was in your system. Four days. Uh, he says they stole some source code in the company's development servers. Uh, but don't worry, none of that is connected cu to customers' data. Now, LastPass, they don't. They have no access to your master passwords, which are needed to decrypt your vaults or your, your passwords. But this isn't the first time that LastPass has been in the news. In 2015, some bad actor got user email addresses 
hashes, password reminders, and a lot more. So uh, a couple of things to, be using, to keep in mind. If you use LastPass, make sure that two-factor authentication is turned on. And that goes for any password management program too, by the way. And if you want to come up with a secure password to protect yourself against hackers, here's a recommendation. Just make it the last 10 digits of pi. Just do that. All right, just a few minutes. If you have an old PC, we're going to tell you how you can make it your own media server. We have brand new or not true coming up. And then in our digital life hacks tip, if you're sick and tired of slow internet, how to get the fastest internet connection no matter where you live. And we're going to talk about safety check and what is it. And, of course, we have all of your great phone calls here on the Kim Commando Show. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't. And that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hey, our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 is the way to join us. All right, how about we start with Bill in Omaha, Nebraska. Hello there, Bill. Hi, Kim. Thanks for having me on. You betcha. You betcha. What's going on? How can I help you out? Well, about 45 years ago, I was in an old-time rock and roll band, and my best friend was in it with me. And we have decided that we would like to play guitars together again and maybe recreate some of that music. But our problem, Kim, is that we live 1,200 miles apart at this time. Yes. So we set out to figure out a way that we could do that. Okay. And we found some software, and there's different varieties out there, and we downloaded it. And in doing that, we found that we need an audio interface, Mm -hmm. and we did that. So last Sunday, we decided to do a little sound check to see if we had all the components in place and if this would work. So we uh, did the sound check, and everything worked other than a few little glitches. And he he came up, and I came up. But what we noticed is people from anywhere also joined the session. Oh, gosh. So we found that there's a private setting Mm -hmm. where it would only be he and I, except there's a note on there that says, Anybody can still listen and watch your session. So my question for you is, are we safe in this format, our personal computers and our personal information? Well, you know, that's a a really good question because you sent me an email and I looked up the website that you guys are using. Uh And the Uh first thing that popped up on my screen was that it's not secure, not secure. And so... Mm. So I I would not recommend you using this uh, particular website. Uh, it's okay. Jam Studio. I would, and yes. there there there's a there's a Chrome extension that you can put on HTTPS anywhere everywhere that will make a unsecure site secure. But I, I still think there are better options. Like I think there's Jam Kazam. That's Jam and okay. Jam Kazam. Uh, yep. You know, they do remote music rehearsals. They also have uh, 4,000 plus songs and in their library. And I think that I, I would feel better if you guys were using that instead of the one okay. that you're using. Then there's also another option. Um, I don't think you need this option, but just something to put in the back of your heads. Because now you guys are going to get back. You're going to be starting, you know, putting on those... Um, those rock and roll t-shirts again and you're saying okay we we are ready to go we are going to go big time we are going big time right yeah this time we're going to make it this time we're going to make it right because you know what i think you have a better shot of making if, if i'm not your lead singer just to let you know uh even though i would love to have the job uh there's a there's a hardware solution uh called jam link that's j jam and then l-i-n-k it's a box 
And that's where you can connect to each other over the internet, just the audio, but it doesn't have any, any lag at all. And so if, okay. so if you come into that situation where it's like, oh, you know, they wish there was, a, you know, wish we could really be more in sync, um, then you might want to look at a hardware solution. So, but look at this Jam Kazam. And, okay. uh, and uh, what's your favorite song? What do you guys play? Oh, boy. We, we go back a ways, you know, the Proud Mary and stuff like that. I, I can't, can't remember all of them, but well, uh, that's, that's one that we've been working on lately. Beast of Burden by the Rolling Stones. We've worked on that. Good Vibrations oh, by the okay. Beach Boys. Oh, okay. You know what's that's so funny about the Beach Boys? We can't, you know we what's can't so, sing that Beach Boys stuff. Well, you know what I'm going to tell you about the Beach Boys is that I ran into the original founder of the Beach Boys, and he listens to the show. And he said to me, oh, Kim, okay. he said, Kim, you know what? You have a great voice. Have you ever tried singing? And uh-huh. I, I sang to him like, good, good, good vibrations. And he looked at me and he said, yeah. he said, no, I think you're better on the radio. It's <laughs> <was> like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So if the founder of the Beach Boys tells you you can't sing, you have to really listen up. You know what I mean? Bill, thanks for your call. Coming up, we have Brand New or Not True that you never, ever want to miss. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't. And that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. All right, it's time now for Brand New or Not True. It's America's favorite radio game show sensation, as I like to say, where you can play along and guess, is it actually brand new or is it not true? I came up with this idea for this game show years ago. And so you're going to hear about three products. Two are fake. I completely made them up. One is actually real. One is a real product. Now, you'll notice that no product names are given because, well, some people have known to be a little bit of cheaters and they start Googling things when I'm talking about them. And it is a big grand prize. If you can guess the right brand new or not true product, it's huge. It's people stop me in the streets. They do. And they say, Kim, how, 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 how can I get a official Kim Commando show fanny pack? And I say, there's only one way. You have to win brand new or not true. And if you ever want to be a contestant, you can always email me through the website. And our special guest contestant this week is Susan in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Hi there, Susan. Hi. How are you? What do you do there in Harrisburg? I'm retired. Oh, well, that's, so I'm out shopping. <laughs> that's good. So you got a lot of free time and you're having a great time at it, I bet, right? Yes, I'm enjoying it. That's awesome. Okay, so you know how to play brand new or not true. I'm going to tell, tell you about three products. And you have to pick okay. the right product, the, the one that is actually a product. The other two are completely fake. And you're going to win an official Kim Commando Show fanny pack if you get the answer right. So you ready to play? Yes. Okay. Product number one. I'm sure you've heard of fitness bikes, especially the Peloton. It's that indoor exercise bike. It has this big tablet on it. And you take yes. rides with really good-looking fitness coaches. Now, what if you live off the grid and you have no electricity? Not a problem. As you pedal the bike, the bike will generate electricity that will in turn power the bike's tablet. So then you can take classes that are preloaded on the tablet. And the battery is removable too. So you can take it on the go and then you can use the bike from the, the battery from the bike rather to charge all your devices. Now the bike is $200, but the rechargeable battery is $300. Not really sure. You know what this reminds me of, Susan? You ever see Gilligan's what? Island? Remember poor Gilligan? He had to pedal yes. the bike so they could watch a movie. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, you know, it also powered the radio on the island, but there were no pigs on the island, so that's why they didn't have any ham radio. Uh, product number two. All right, so it's the holiday season. You've wrapped all your presents, 
and then you grab a gift tag to write who the gift is for and who the gift is from. Now, of course, you could do what I do. I just buy those gift tags, those self-adhesive sheets, although my husband likes to buy the fancy ones at Costco. But here in 2022, there's a new option, a gift tag that has a computer chip built into it. It's the future. This way, when your gift recipient wants to just tear off the wrapping paper, they have to stop. They have to hold their phone up to the gift tag, and on their phone, they see a video of you talking to them about how you chose this special gift just for them. And you better really like the person because each one of these snazzy gift tags is about 10 bucks, right? But, you know, okay. but if you're good at wrapping, you're pretty gifted. And finally, product number three. Do you have someone in your life, Susan, who forgets to flush the toilet? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, finally, we have technology that solves this problem. You place a special water sensor on the water line to the toilet. If it detects that the water volume in the toilet has changed without a flush in 60 seconds, a sensor in the toilet will sound an alarm. The alarm to remind the person to flush the toilet. It's also connected to an app. So you know exactly when this happened every single day and at what time of the day. So that this way you can have that talk with that person about their inappropriate behavior. Of course, when you do that, they will become embarrassed and maybe even a little flushed. Uh, $49.99. So we have three products. Okay, One is the exercise bike with the battery for people who lived off the grid. We have the new gift tags. Uh, that you can have a little video on, or is it number three, the smart toilet? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Whenever you said the first one, I thought, surely that would be it. But I'm thinking I would really like it for number three, the toilet one. The toilet one. I think that would be very handy. You know, I should keep track of all these. Okay, number three. So, all right, final answer, Susan? Yes. Number three. Number three. Okay, Susan is going with number three, judges. How did she do? Was that a yay? Oh, Susan. No. I was just saying, maybe you, you got... want to add excitement and emotion to your gifts? Hello Tag oh, makes giving gifts a great two. experience. Yep, it's the gift tags, Susan. It's the gift tags. Oh, oh, well. Well, that's okay. That's all right. You know? I'm still a winner because I was on the show. Yes, thank you. You're always, oh, you know what? Let's give Susan the fanny pack. All right. So, because you were a great contestant. All right. Good job. Good job, Susan. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, um, you have a question for me. Yes. I'm uh, on photos. Uh, it's kind of a two-part. Okay. And number one is I take a lot of photos on my phone and on my 35 millimeter, which downloads to my computer. So I want a way to be able to share a lot of family photos with family or friends. And I usually use the share folder. Mm -hmm. But is there a better way to share with people that have an Android or an uh, iPhone? Yeah. <sighs> You know, when we start getting into, yeah, someday soon, I think everybody's going to be able to talk to each other, but we still have these these disconnects along the way. And especially when it comes time for photos, uh, Apple has now fixed the disconnect with text messages and FaceTime. So now you can actually FaceTime somebody on an Android, but photos are still that thing that's kind of out there on the edge. Uh, if you're going to be sharing a whole bunch of photos, what I would do is set up a Google Photos account. Because yeah. that's that's easy for you to use. It's easy for everybody else to use. And then what's also nice is that you could also, you know, turn on commenting so people can comment on different photos. Then they can order, they can download them. They can order products if they wanted from the photos. And so they could order prints, yeah, whatever it may be. And just it just makes it easier if you're sharing a whole bunch of photos in different albums. And then people can also upload their photos for that particular occasion, whether it's a birthday reunion. Uh, party you know, or whatever, then you have everybody's photos too in one spot. Okay. Now, what if you're scanning photos, heritage photos, for instance, and on the back is like 10 different names of family members in that photo that are ancient. Mm -hmm. How do you keep the names on the back of the photo with the picture that you scanned? Um, or 
what kind, for heritage purposes. What kind of scanner do you have? I have two. I have a Epson uh, V800 Perfection flatbed scanner, mm-hmm. and I also use PhotoMine on my iPhone for on-the-go scanning. Well, I'll tell you, that um, that's a beautiful scanner, that Epson scanner. That is. That's a great scanner. Um, and uh, it has some pretty powerful software with it. Uh, the Epson will allow you to use OCR, optical character recognition, right? Uh, right. To, to convert the names on the back to text data, and then you can save the names of the folks in the in the file name itself. And I can give you a link that will kind of walk you through those steps. Okay. Uh, because you already have a fabulous scanner, and there's no need for you to buy anything else at that point. And just use the the tools that are built in to the scanner software that comes with your Epson. Uh, there okay. is, uh, there's also uh, another way that we talked about this a couple of weeks on the show is that with Google Photos too, since we were talking about that, is that you can um, you can put uh, like you you can put information about the photo embedded with the photo, so you can also put those names there. And, and that's in Google Photos. Yes, in Google, and then we, I can give okay. you some, we'll give you some steps to do that as well. But it's uh, okay. So it becomes it's not it's not a, this hard arduous task as it used to be you know thank goodness um but you just kind of need some direction so we'll post those links over inside the commando community and then susan will send them out to you via email and in case you're wondering what the heck is a commando community well you go to commando.com slash community and then there's the q a forum on the left hand side and that's where i post links that i often talk about here on the show Uh, what a great contestant she was okay let's go ahead and do our digital life hacks tip And this week, it's brought to you by ExpressVPN. You know, I've noticed that as I've been looking at various press releases and and websites and looking at what the ISPs are offering, that we are on the cusp, I really believe, of a fundamental shift where we're going to get better high-speed internet access, better than what we're getting right now, maybe even at a lower price. So we went shopping, we went looking around. But first, how fast is one gig and two gig internet? How fast is this? With two gig internet, you can download a two and a half 4K movie in 1.2 minutes. Okay. Uh, you can download uh, 35 minute songs in 0.9 seconds. That's all at two gigs. You can download a 10 gigabyte game in 42.2 seconds. Okay. Now that's fast. So when we start looking at who provides this, okay, Google has something called Google Fiber, one gig and two gig plans. Uh, when you sign up, you get Wi-Fi 6 equipment plus unlimited data without contracts. So you can just have it for a month if you wanted. Uh, one gig service is $70 a month. Two gig is $100 a month. That's pretty darn good. I mean, when you think about it, two gig for $100 a month. So you have all that free, you have all that fast Speeds I just mentioned, like you can download that two and a half hour 4K movie in one minute, uh, 35 minute songs in in 0.9 seconds, right? So before you get too excited, the drawback. Uh, Google Fiber is only available right now in Alabama, California, Georgia, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, uh, North Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and Utah, which I'm proud to say we have affiliates in all those states. They say they're going to be expanding the program. Now, if you live in Iowa or Arizona, Google Fiber is soon coming to Des Moines and Mesa. Okay, who else is next? AT&T. They have speeds of 1 gig, uh, 80 bucks a month, 2 gig, 110, 5 gig, 180 a month. Depends on where you live. It's more widespread than Google Fiber. It covers 21 states. We have the full list over at commando.com. Now, Comcast just sent me a press release that they are coming out with a 2 gig plan. Augusta, Georgia, Colorado Springs, Panama City Beach, and Philadelphia. They say by the end of the year, it's going to be live in 34 cities. Uh, They are putting some limits on customers. You can only upload files at 200 megabits per second. You know, that's that's still pretty fast. Now, what if you live in a rural area? Okay, well, that's where you've heard me talk about Starlink. And I've installed it. I've been using it. The hardware is $600. The... uh, the monthly is 110. You're going to get like my my average is 150 megabits per second uh, down and then up 
It's not very fast. It's like five. Sometimes it's even two. Sometimes I hit nine. Depends what uh, what the wind I think it might be because it is satellite. But in case you want to check out any of these plans, we have links to all of them over at commando.com. Just hit K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com. When you're there, hit the link that says Kim Show. Let's see. Still to come, we have some wonderful things to talk about, including what safety check and how to use it on your iPhone. And what about USB drives? And of course, we have more of your phone calls here on the Kim Commando Show. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Uh, let's see. Back to your phone calls. We go with Arlene in Lafayette, Louisiana. Hi there, Arlene. Well, well, hi, Kim. You know, for years, I've been amazed by your wealth of information, even before the day you kept us in suspense over why you were out for two weeks. You had <laughs> given birth. <laughs> That's right. So maybe you were setting a new standard about the length of a maternity leave? <laughs> that was it. Two weeks. I had, I had, uh, I'll tell you, I had, I remember that I had Ian on a Thursday. I didn't do the show on Friday, and I didn't do the show the next Friday, but I went to work the following Monday. So I was like, okay, I'm good. Okay. As a bit of background, during COVID, I finally fulfilled a 33-year-long dream that I, that I had, and that was creating rhyming content of 66 books of the Bible, then pairing each one with familiar tunes in public domain. I had intended this primarily for children, but my forward writer thought it would be a lot of fun at adult Bible studies. The project should be released shortly online, but my question is this. I'm not a friend of social media, and I'm looking for creative ways to promote this book. Of course, I'd be willing to listen if you've got a safe idea to use it. Well, you know, you have to go on social media because that's where everybody is, okay? And you can set up different email addresses and uh, for, you know, you want, you're definitely going to want to be on Instagram because this way you can put some reels together of the songs and the books and the memory games. Uh, you're going to want to put it on Pinterest and you definitely want to put it on Facebook. But in order for you to be, in order for us to create some type of, mojo for this is that we need to get some synergy together with social media and of course you know your publishing companies are going to want to have some social media presence as well so they're going to help you out but what you're going to do is set up just start with a facebook account and we've got some guides over at commando.com to teach you how to do it the right way and arlene if you need any help getting this set up i'm always here for you and thank you so much for your call okay with ios 16 Apple has added something called safety check. And with safety check, if you have anybody in your family that's in a relationship with someone who they don't trust, you really need to tell them about how to do this because it kind of limits all the tracking information and where text messages appear. And there's also something else called emergency reset. Again, this is something to share with a family member, a friend, or even yourself. Check it out. We have it all written up step-by-step uh, step over on the website at commando.com. Hey, thanks for listening to Kim Commando today. So reach over and give me a nice five-star review. Yes, thank you. And thanks for listening. Tax day is coming. Oh, no. But if you sign up for Robinhood Gold's IRA with a 3% match, you can get up to $195 for the 2023 tax year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sign up at Robinhood.com slash Boost by Tax Day to get the biggest contribution match on the market. Subscription fees apply. 
Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Robinhood Financial, LLC, member SIPC.